Hello everybody, my name is Davis and welcome back to another video and today we are here for another severe weather breakdown. Now today we're going to be talking about an ongoing severe weather outbreak that's bringing damaging winds, large hail, and even a few tornadoes to a certain portion of the United States. So let's go ahead and get right into it, starting off with the Storm Prediction Center outlook for today where we have two slight risks of severe weather, one of them being centered across portions of the upper Middle West and one of them being centered across portions of the Mississippi Valley. Tornado threat for today, if you're in that brown area you have a 5% chance to see a tornado in your town that goes through areas like Louisville, Kentucky, back up towards Cincinnati, Ohio. Damaging wind threat for today. If you're in either of those yellow areas, you have a 15% chance to see wind gusts of 60 miles per hour or higher in your town, so make sure to look out for that. Hail threat for today. If you're in that yellow area, you have a 15% chance to see hail of one inch or larger in your town tomorrow, sorry, today, so make sure to look out for that. Now, moving on to tomorrow, we have two marginal risks of severe weather, one of them being centered around portions of the Mid-Atlantic area area in the Ohio Valley, and one of them being across portions of northeastern New Mexico. Tornado threat for tomorrow, we don't have one. Damaging wind threat for tomorrow, if you're in either of those brown areas, you have a 5% chance to see wind gusts of 60 miles per hour or higher in your town, so make sure to look out for that. Hail threat for tomorrow, if you're in either of those brown areas, you have a 5% chance to see hail of one inch or larger in your town tomorrow, so make sure to look out for that. Now, moving on to Saturday here, we have a marginal risk of, of severe weather for portions of the Central Plains, but it's too early to break down the threats that that brings. So let's go on and move on to what the models are showing here for the next few days. We can see that right now, it is awfully stormy out there, all right? We've got so many just kind of scattered pop-up thunderstorms out here right now over the Ohio River Valley into the Mid-Atlantic area and even starting to produce some storms back up here into the upper Midwest. But as we go into 5, 6 p.m., we're going to see some convection start to explode out there in portions of Oklahoma even by 7, 8 p.m. We're going to see some of that really start to intensify in eastern Oklahoma with a damaging wind and large hail threat. But an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Now, going into midnight tonight, a lot of that starts to clear up, but we still have some strong to severe storms down in southern Oklahoma. And then going into tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., those are still in effect there for portions of northwest Texas, so make sure to look out for that. But at that point, they should just bring typical strong thunderstorm threats rather than severe thunderstorm threats, right? So... As we go into tomorrow uh, morning and tomorrow afternoon, there we can start to see some convection. Maybe try and get going here in portions of Michigan around 3 p.m., but by 4 and 5 p.m., it's much more noticeable there. Again, we couldn't really have an isolated storm producing some damaging winds or large hail, but overall, it shouldn't be too big of a threat. 10 p.m. tomorrow, a lot of that starts to clear up, but as we go into Saturday, we can see our next severe weather threat start to play out, where even as early as 1 p.m., we're starting to see some storms off into portions of central Nebraska, potentially, but as we go to about 6 p.m. The threat for storms will be much greater with even the chance for an isolated tornado or two in that time frame across parts of northern Kansas and southern Nebraska. Now finally, watches, warnings, and advisories. Those orange boxes, those are your heat advisories. We have so many heat advisories across the country right now going from New Jersey back down into Texas and then we even have some in the western United States that go from California back up into Idaho. The hot pink boxes, those are your excessive heat warnings which are actually a step up. We have some of those going all the way from parts of Tennessee and Mississippi back into Texas, and then we've also got some along the West Coast that go all up and down, right? We've got some in Arizona, California, Utah, Nevada, Idaho, Oregon, Washington, so make sure to look out for that. Some extreme heat is on the way. Uh, we currently do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for portions of central and eastern Kentucky, but other than that, pretty calm right now, so if you guys did enjoy this video, please do be sure to like and subscribe, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.